White Sox fans right now are are looking at the team going, how can they go and get better? So a couple things for you. What's these first, you know, 50 or so games been like for you and the team? You know, it's been challenging. You know, it's up and down. Um, you know, but you understand what you know, you understand what you what you're doing. You know, you are playing one of the, you know, one of one of the toughest games at the highest level. Um, but you are but it's also a learning process. Um, you know, we had injuries. Um, but you know, the ultimate goal is just to keep going, you know, keep going and, uh, you know, keep pushing and, uh, you know, keep having fun. And I think we'll get to what we need to be for sure. Why was it important to you to stay with the team while you're rehabbing? Keep positive vibes, you know, keep positive energy. You know, it's just good to be there. You know, it's good to be there. Why, why, why would I not? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's sometimes you see guys like ship out on something like that, but I feel like you take your role as a leader on this team fairly seriously. So that feels like something that a leader would do. Am I saying too much, or is that is that the case? No, you're spot on. I'm all in. You know, um, I mean, it, it, it is my job, so why not try to you know go out and be the best at it, and uh, you know, sell out doing it and max out every day. You know, trying to be the best that you can be, and uh, you know, bring your value to the team as. You know, Depends on whatever whatever they need. How are you feeling right now? I feel good. I feel good. You know, I'm getting better. You know, staying healthy. You know, every day is getting better and better. Is it frustrating to you to have to go through as, as many injuries as you've had to deal with in your career and the team overall has had to deal with? At, at times it can be. You know, at times it can be because you know you know uh, you know what the ultimate goal is, and uh, you, you can't do that if you if you're not on the field. But. Uh, but you know, man, you just keep working and you keep pushing and you you, you keep trying, uh, you know, to get better. And uh, you know, once you're in, once you're injured, you know, this is it's a time for you to you know also to continue to get better to dig into, you know, uh, your game as well. And you know, that way you can come back even more sharp and uh, you know keep on keep going along that path that you're trying to get. Talking with White Sox shortstop Tim Anderson, he is here courtesy of Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen is crowning the official combo meal of MLB featuring the all-new signature Stack Burgers. Vote for Tim's meal, the DQ Bacon 2 Cheeseburger Deluxe, and the Blizzard Treat Meal at DairyQueen.com. When I hear Tony La Russa talk about you, it feels very paternal. It, do, it feels like, you know, a, a dad and his son. How did you guys build your relationship? Uh, you know, it's just one of those things. You know, when he first signed over, a lot of people didn't think we would get along. Um, I guess just off, off of his history and uh, you know, just off of my personality. But it's one of those things you gotta, you know, you gotta learn. You gotta learn for yourself. You know, you can't go off of what other people say. And uh, you know, ever since we got over here, we've just been, you know, building a relationship and you know, communicating and and and, and talking. Um, and, you know, he's super competitive, and I'm super competitive. Um, you know, we just want to win, and 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 we'll do whatever it takes. So, uh, you know, we started clicking ever since we got over here. And, you know, it's been nothing. It's been great. Um, you know, we're just trying to, we're trying to reach, you know, we're trying to reach the, reach that goal. And, uh, you know, he's all in. And, uh, you know, I'm all in. And, you know, everybody's all in. So we're just trying to, you know, continue to keep working and, uh, you know, keep getting better. And, and hopefully we get there. Seeing you develop as a hitter has been pretty amazing. I mean, you, obviously you're a batting champ, but I think that you you've gotten even better. And the thing that, I look at is watching your approach to going to right field. And when, when pitchers try to, to go away on you, you're able to flip the ball into right field and you're showing some pop to right field. How did you develop that? What, what were the things that were important to you as to not allow pitchers to get you out that way? Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, after my rookie year, you know, I had a, I had a, a pretty good rookie year. And then after that, I kind of, you know, my numbers were down a little bit. And, you know, it was up on me to, you know, do the task. And I wanted to be the best hitter that, you know, in the league. <laughs> and so it was up on me to do the work. Um, and, you know, I just got in the cage and worked. And, uh, you know, being able to play that fastball deep, um, you know, that allow you, that's going to allow you to be on everything else. Um, if, if I'm on your, on your fastest pitch, everything else is, you know, slower than that. So I can be on time for everything. And it seems to be working out really well. I, I, T.A., you're you're so private. You know, I, I remember talking to you at Sox Fest when you first got drafted. I was like, this is a private dude. But so so when they came to you with the idea of doing that feature on YouTube where where they give a history of Tim Anderson, how hard was it for you to be the center of attention that way? 
Uh, it was, it was, it was kind of, you know, it was, it was definitely different, you know, because I, you know, I always like to stay low key, and uh, you know, I didn't really, you know, I didn't really want to get my story out just yet, but you know, it was, it was bits and pieces of it, um, you know, and especially going through the White Sox organization, um, you know, they had a lot of content, and uh, you know, they had a lot of footage, and you know, they, they've been along my, you know, along my way, they, they, they raised me, <laughs> so I think it was only right, you know, to, uh, you know, to give the fans that. Um, you know, that insight and just to see what, you know, what drives me, uh, you know, what keeps me motivated and, you know, just also let them get an insight on, on, on who I really am and, you know, how I go about my business. I've seen you with the ACE kids and there's going to be a ceremony tomorrow uh, over on the South side for the ACE signees. When we're talking about the documentary and everything that is Tim Anderson, what does it mean to you to be someone that those kids look up to? And just to be, be someone they look up to, you know, um, you know, first of all, I look like him, you know, uh, we listen to the same music, uh, same vibes, we act like. Um, so I think it, it means a lot, you know, just to, just to feel so direct, you know, connected. Um, and, and, and just, you know, just to be an inspiration, uh, you know, just to inspire kids, you know, just to keep going, you know, just not, not even just in the sport of baseball, just in life in general. Um, and just continue to just keep overcoming things and, and, and continue to block out, you know, people's opinions uh, on what they think about you. Um, and just continue to prove people wrong at, at, all the time. Um, and, and, and just keep going. I, that's the only way that you're going to get to where, you, where you're trying to be. Um, and, and nobody's opinion really matters. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, you know, you know what you can do. Um, and so you just keep pushing towards it. I talk about you not being from the South Side, but being of the South side. Why is it important to you and to Bria to represent the South side the way that you do? Um, I think it's only right, you know, um, you know, when I, when I got here, you know, they, they gave me a deal. So I think it was only right that I, you know, that I, I, I come here and soak up everything that I can and learn and connect with different people. Um, uh, just continue to build and, and build relationships. Um, and also feel as, you know, feel as a part of the community. Um, this is different, you know, living somewhere that you don't feel comfortable. And I wanted to feel comfortable. Um, you know, I wanted my kids to feel comfortable. Um, you know, I wanted my whole family to feel comfortable. Everybody to feel comfortable. So I think it was only right to, you know, uh, come right in and, 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 and just learn. And, uh, you know, it's kind of like where I'm from. But, you know, the city is just bigger. So it was only right that, I mean, this is where I work at. So uh, it was only right just to continue to connect and continue to learn and uh, you know, continue to keep building and inspiring people. That's, you know, that's close to me. What's it like to be Tim Anderson right now? Uh, it's, it's definitely, you know, it's cool. You know, uh, but for the most part, I, you know, I stay out of the way. I, I, I stay low key and, uh, you know, I stay within my lane. That way I can always win. So I'm not competing with nobody else. And I mean, but, it, you know, it's been great. You know, um, it, 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 it's been it's been good. You know, uh, I've, been, I've been working, man, and continue to get better uh, each and every year. And, uh, you know, I've been maxing out, maxing out every day and every year. And, uh, you know, trying to get better every chance I get, whether it's on the field or off the field. And, uh, you know, trying to be good people. Um, and you just try to, you know, just try to spread as much love as you can, uh, you know, uh, while you're here. One more thing. For this White Sox team, and I was talking about White Sox fans earlier, what gives you hope that things are going to turn around and you guys can reach your goals? Uh, first off, just in the energy of the lock, in the locker room. You know, I know what my guys can do. Um, you know, when everybody's healthy. I mean, it's a long season. If we could just keep our head above water, man, and, and, and get to that finish line and, and, and be able to, you know, uh, hopefully hit another gear and, and, and just keep working, uh, you know, we we got a, we got a shot. Um, so the ultimate goal is just, you know, for sure to get everyone healthy. And, uh, and then we have fun from there, and then we just see where it takes us. T.A., as always, man, I appreciate your time. I'm going to come see you in the clubhouse tomorrow. Thanks a lot for being on the show. Thanks to Dairy Queen and everyone. Go vote for T.A.'s meal over at DairyQueen.com. Show him the same type of love that he shows us in the South Side. Sir, thank you so much. Thank you. Always.